Okay, our next one, we have uh, uh, the double star power, basically, that we're going to be talking about in Canada. Uh, that'll be sharing a session about five mistakes we've made with digital advertising and how to avoid them. Um, that's going to be Tuesday, March the 26th, from 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock p.m. Jessica is the manager of demand generation for Rollworks. And Jeff's the technical marketing manager for Segment. Uh, I'm not sure, folks, how you want to split that off, but I'm just going to hand the floor over to the two of you. And um, well, I think we have a little bit of extra time, too. So if you want to take like six minutes between the, three of you, or between the two of you, then feel free. And the floor is all sure. yours. Sure. Thanks so much for inviting us, first off. Um, I'm Jessica, if you can guess. Um, Jeff, I'm trying to find you in the... I'm here. <laughs> there he is. He's Hi, Jeff. probably hiding. Hi, how, uh, how are you? We call ourselves like JC Squared because between the two of us, we split the responsibility of managing the San Francisco Marketo user group. Um, and we're both JC, Jessica Cross, Jeff Canada. Um, and we teamed up to talk about digital advertising best practices, but we decided to put a funny name on it, hoping that the funny name would get us picked and we got picked, so that's good. Um, I've been working for AdRoll, now Roll Works, but AdRoll grew two, two and a half, almost three years. And Jeff, you even have more experience than I do in digital advertising. Yeah, I was in ad tech for a little over four years. Uh, I just recently switched and, and moved into kind of an ad tech adjacent technology company called Segment. Um, but you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of really cool things that that we as B two B marketers can can learn, particularly at, at Adobe Summit, which tends to skew a little bit towards B two C marketers. So I'm I'm excited to to be able to go and share kind of the the stuff that Jessica and I have learned, and and also learn a lot about you know other mistakes that people have made and and how to avoid those. So the, the f gist of our presentation is we're trying to break down five different areas that we've seen happen. We call them the different mistakes. Um, the first one, and this, is, this is all on the agenda as well, so you can see it there, but the first one, we joke, it's called retargeting your mom. Um, I don't know how many of you have experienced this, but like you go home for Thanksgiving, your mom, she's like, what is it that you do? I don't understand what you do. You're like, I work in tech. And then she goes to the website and she visits maybe your company's website and all of a sudden she gets retargeted. This has definitely happened to me. Um, oh yeah, plenty of times for my mom. <laughs> but what that represents on the back end is that potentially your targeting is set too broad um, and that you should think about doing more conversion segments or more um, like different uh, segmentation of your retargeting pool to exclude serving up impressions to people that really don't matter to your business. When you think about account-based marketing, you want to be spending the money and serving impressions to the folks that matter. Not that your mom doesn't matter. <laughs> it does cost money. Every, every impression, while it's cents, it can add up, you know, it's cost per mil. That can add up to a lot if you're serving impressions to the wrong people. Yeah, and, and our, our second kind of mistake that, that I think we all make is probably is leveraging a lot of really stale third party data. You know, there's been a lot of talk about big data and a big boom as to, you know, getting all of this cool firmographic information, but, you know, I just changed jobs. I, there's data that people are going after me and looking at, at stuff from uh, three or four months ago that's just incorrect. So, you know, kind of the, the way to avoid that is to be able to use all of this rich first party data that we're collecting from in systems like Marketo and systems, you know, those of you who work in technology inside of your product technology and using that to help um, create like more, uh, just better advertising. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, our third mistake, since we're alternating, um, we would say is showing the same ad to everyone across your funnel. Um, we have the technology now to integrate your ad tech platform with your Marketo. Either it's, you know, through the AdBridge connection to things like Facebook or to LinkedIn, as well as uh, what I have to, I work, work for Rollworks, we do that as well, where you, you can set up like life cycle segmentation stages in your Marketo instance, and then serve up a different ad depending on where they are in their journey. So that ideally you can mirror um, like an email nurture stream with your digital advertising for like a true surround sound omni-channel experience. Because um, you certainly don't want to serve up a request for demo ad to your customer base. That would be like a big old egg in the face kind of uh, marketing. And, and, 
And like just this morning, I was I was working on, you know, we're working on putting this presentation together for Summit. And I, I just bought shoes. I literally just got them downstairs at the office. And I was flipping through Facebook and I got three different ads for the same pair of shoes that I already bought. That's just a waste of money. Like advertise some damn socks or something. Show me something I don't have. Mm -hmm. um, the, the fourth mistake that we have is, is, is being your own competition, like, like Jessica and I for, for the soundbite time. Um, <laughs> we like to talk over each other sometimes. Um, but really, with, with this one, it's, it's a matter of, you know, you, you don't want to be advertising against yourself. If you've got two different pixels that are competing against themselves, it's, it's going to drive up the price and you're just competing against yourself. Similarly, if you have audiences that kind of overlap, you have to be careful that there's not too much overlap because one ad might be upbidding a, a different one. So that's a, a big mistake and it's, it's easily avoidable, but something that I, I certainly have overlooked in the past. I see that far too often with our own customers. We're like, oh, well, we want to do both this and that at the same time. I'm like, wait, but that means you're spending double. You're literally bidding against yourself and you're charging yourself more mo money just to, just to try and they think they're increasing their reach, but they're not really. Last one, last mistake that we'll try to cover in our presentation is forgetting about the post click plan. Um, so that's all about, since we are both, you know, the ad tech marketer and um, the Marketo marketer, we can connect those two systems and ensure that they get a follow-up email, that they get routed to the sales team, that they have a cohesive experience when they hit on the, on the website, um, and that the journey doesn't just stop with the lead conversion, um, that you think through what's the next step in their experience with your brand. Yeah, and it, it kind of ties a lot of that, a lot of the information in. If you're being really smart about how you're advertising, you can pass that information back into Marketo to use that to be really smart about how you continue to communicate them. So it's, it's all this kind of ecosystem of, of things talking together and just using the data that we've got to, to have the most personalized experience for your prospects and customers. And we promise we'll have lots of um, cookie monster gifts, mm -hmm. uh, really cute pictures of our moms, um, the slides are coming along if you can't get tell, uh, but I'm very excited to be presenting alongside Jeff again. Hope to see you there. That's great guys. We're, we're excited to hear it too, actually. That sounds like a lot of really good uh, techniques there and backups. So the, the real important thing here at the end of this is if you want to come to Adobe Summit, you haven't made the commitment to do so yet, it's summit.adobe.com to be able to sign up. Uh, we have a special super secret discount code for everybody who's listening to this uh, and watching this uh, that is gives you $700 off the ticket price. Uh, it's S19MN uh, as you go to sign up and that, that brings the price down considerably for you to be able to sign in. Um, so we'd love to be able to have you here uh, come into Summit and join us and, and get a chance to meet some of these people firsthand. Everybody's really approachable and that was the thing that I discovered